game and I'm still the same And I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin' I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion, bitch Hey, what's up, guys? Henry the Blazing here, and happy Sunday to every single one of you. If you're tuning into today's video, you guys are probably wondering how do I increase my collector levels, and we're gonna dive into that in just a second. But right now, I've got one piece of important information for you guys, and this is coming from Ronnie2k. Now, earlier, the man was streaming, ripping packs, and talking to his viewers and stuff like that, and he mentioned that there was going to be a big card coming on Tuesday. That is right, guys. This upcoming Tuesday, in two days, 2k is going to be releasing a big card. What it's gonna be we have no idea now him saying big might be hinting at Anthony Davis since he is a big man but it also could be signature series Kobe Bryant his 81 point game anniversary is coming up he drops 81 points on the 22nd and that is coming up in like the next week so uh yeah guys this could mean that we could be getting a pink diamond signature series Kobe Bryant or the pink diamond 20 20th anniversary Anthony Davis that we were supposed to get and didn't end up getting so this could be a huge auction house crash for that reason I would recommend that you guys go ahead and sell some of your cards i've already gone ahead and sold kobe because i'm not taking the risk if he ends up not being kobe then i could always just buy kobe back but i'd rather do that risk than have to sell my kobe for like a quarter of the price so in the way in the end it kind of balances out with it but you guys are going to go ahead and decide what you want to do with the information i just thought i should let you guys know if i end up finding out anything else i will make sure to let you guys know but now let's go ahead and let's start talking about collector levels so if you're tuning in the video again you guys want to know how to increase your collector levels as you can see i'm currently at Diamond Karolinko and I'm not going for this 100k and I'll explain that later in the video but the best place to start when it comes to collector levels guys is starting at the uniforms now the reason for this guys is the uniforms are so 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 cheap and there's just a huge ton of them if you look through here some have 15 some have 24 like the freaking Knicks I believe they have the most since that's like the biggest market and the Warriors here have 18 uh, the Lakers here have 16 if you count it all up it ends up averaging over 300 cards there in total one thing I want to let you guys know quickly is shoes do not count towards your collector levels so please guys do not buy shoes if there's shoes you don't use just go ahead and sell them because every little bit of empty adds up to being a ton and I'll explain that later on as we go so when it comes to uniforms obviously you guys want to be trying to get every single card you collect for the cheapest price possible now with that being said you guys are not gonna be able to increase your collector levels for free guys you are going to be spending some empty you are gonna be spending some VC if you want but mainly you're gonna be spending MT and at a low cost but hey it ends up adding up a ton and you will be spending quite a bit of MT so if you don't have MT that's one thing you got to do before going into collector levels but uh, yeah guys first thing we're gonna do is talk about the uniform filters now there's no specific filters when it comes to this I either do home or away jersey some people like to be team specific and that's more when you're closer to completing everything and you're just not finding any cards you don't have but most people when you start off with this you just want to go to either home or away jerseys go to minimum minimum 250 I like to start my maximum at 500 and work my way up so here we'll search and there's nothing there uh, we'll go to 550 see if there's anything and you can see this one literally just came up two minutes ago so that is going to be a snipe but what's defined as a snipe is timing now right now today is Sunday everything goes for the most expensive on a Sunday number one and there's no content people have been going a whole weekend without content which means people are feeling dry which means people will sell stuff for a bunch because there's not much things going in the auction house because there's nobody selling and buying stuff since no one's really ripping packs so what you want to do when it comes to collecting stuff guys is you want to wait for the right window now the right window for example is going to be this upcoming Tuesday why there's going to be a new card coming when there's new content people want to rip packs and when people rip packs they're not ripping packs to pull jerseys no one's ripping packs and be like yo I can't wait to pull a gold 2006 2015 bucks jersey oh my god no you're trying to pull the pink diamond card and when you're not pulling the card you're selling everything else this makes people act really quickly and really impulsively and this is where you guys want to be patient I would recommend you guys wait until Tuesday if you're gonna be sniping anything because that's when they will be going for an insanely cheap price because people want to just get rid of the cards they know everybody else is ripping packs as well and people just start undercutting each other like crazy and that is the best 24 hour window to collect cards so this is where you want to collect stuff like uniforms now eventually you will um what's it called 
I'm trying to catch my English here. Eventually, you are going to have to go specific when it comes to teams. And this is where you kind of want a pen and paper. And I'm actually going to explain that to you using the Celtics here. If we go to Celtics, we go to minimum 500, 600, and we'll go to either home or away jerseys. All right, there's none here. Come on, give me a filter here. I'm trying to explain this to the people. So an example is right here. As you can see, all these jerseys look the same, but they are all from different days. This is $72.99. This is $65.99, and they look the exact same minus that little logo. That's not something you're always going to realize. So when you're doing something like this where you're being team specific when searching for jerseys, you want a pen and paper. That way, when you buy this 46, uh, 65 jersey, you write down on a paper that you bought that. That way, as you scroll down, you don't accidentally buy another one that's going for like cheap that you think is a different card. A lot of people make that mistake. I've made that mistake a lot and have had to sell back cards and I've lost MT in that sense. So that's something you want to be careful of when it comes to uniforms. But yeah, guys, first thing you want to do is definitely collect those uniforms because that's already like 300 cards automatically. After the uniforms, you want to move on to the miscellaneous stuff. Now, this is stuff like coaches, stuff like playbooks, and stuff like... Uh, logos i believe these logos you get from domination so domination oh that's one thing i forgot to mention domination is huge for collecting cards and why do i say that not only do you get these historic logos but you also get stuff like these the icon uniforms east and west again east and west that right there is already what 120 cards and then the logos here east and west as well that's another 60 so that's 180 and then you've got the courts east and west so that's 240 cards just from doing domination if you haven't done domination by now i re i would recommend you go ahead and grind it out because without all the tokens and mt and all the stuff you earn from domination it's going to be virtually impossible for you to be able to get to andre karolinko now you can buy these jerseys but them for free while earning MT playing domination I know domination is boring but every time you complete a domination game you're earning like two jerseys a court and a logo so you're adding five to your collection every time so why bother spending MT that is something I just want to let you guys know but if you've done domination and you've done your uniforms that's when you want to move on to the coaches now you don't have to buy every coach just like you don't have to buy every jerseys again you want to wait for auction house crashes and you just want to buy everything for cheap you don't want to go out of your way and try to buy like a diamond Steve Kerr because Steve Kerr goes for 50k we what you can do with 50k MT towards your collection is way bigger than trying to collect one card so you want to leave all the expensive cards out of the way I only have Dan Tony because he is the coach I use but other than that you always want to work your way up you want to be patient you don't have to collect all coaches you don't have to collect all playbooks in one sitting you got to be patient buy all the low cards and work your way up slowly now oh my god I'm running out of breath now, when you finish buying what you can from the uniforms and the miscellaneous items for as cheap as possible, because again, you don't want to be buying playbooks for 8K. It's just not worth it at this time. I don't have any of the expensive playbooks and I have my boy Karolinko. So now we actually want to work up to the 19 current NBA collection. And right in front of you, you can see the first mistake to not make when it comes to collector levels. Do not lock stuff in unless you are trying to collect reward tokens. But otherwise, that's going to end up being an L. You want to collect all these cards because once you get to Karolinko, Go, you can sell back everything or once you get to the goal that you want it and don't care to move up anymore you can just sell back everything make back all that MT while still having those free cards that you basically earn so it ends up being a double win but for me I did need the reward tokens because I'm gonna try to go for that galaxy opal James worthy because I really want to get you guys a gameplay but here you want to start off by collecting all the gold cards they usually go for stupid cheap the last card you want to be trying to collect is the silver cards because the silver cards they are a freaking pain man you want to do the golds you want to do the bronzes you want to do the sapphires and the emeralds a lot of the rubies go for dumb cheap the amethysts are really more the expensive stuff but the nba current collection is probably one of the biggest things to do that is what i would recommend heat check is what i would hugely avoid as you can see i have not done any or much of the heat check and again i still have karolinko you don't need to be locking in all these certain stuff the heat check cards they are stupid expensive don't get me wrong there's some cheap cards that you do want to try to pick up some filters i do do for the heat check here is i'll just go to heat check i'll go to minimum 500 and i'll go to like a maximum of 1500 and you can see once you are able to spend a bit more because now you're not buying uniforms for 500 you've bought everything you can for 500 you've bought everything you can for 750 now you're working up to stuff like this this is the only time you want to buy stuff if you can always buy something for cheaper that can go towards your collector level do not bother buying something more expensive for example you don't have to buy all the bucks before you start buying hornets players you're not looking to lock in this collection so you don't need to collect every single one of this card before you move forward you just want to go ahead and go to your filters like for example gold 
for this one you might want to be a little bit more uh, team specific just because there is a ton of gold cards with jerseys it's a little bit easier to read but again minimum maximum buy everything you don't have and from there go team specific and then just be careful with that with this at least you don't have to write anything down because you don't have to worry about buying duplicate cards but then when you're done with the NBA currents that's when you got to work a towards a little bit of the harder stuff now that can be the moments cards now with the super moment packs being out recently now is a good time to go ahead and buy those cheap moments cards such as this Ruby Gordon Hayward or a lot of the sapphires because once these cards are usually gone out of the collections they end up going for a ton of MT and I'll honestly never understand like right now Ruby Marquis Morris you can get him for 900 if you win this bid a bid a thousand and end up winning that so that ends up being cheaper than a heat check card so you want to look at all your options before you decide and commit to buying stuff be be wary of the auction house you want to go ahead and check prices of everything before you move forward like I still don't have all of the jerseys and it's because some of the jerseys go for 8k I'm just not willing to pay that much I'm gonna be patient I'm gonna wait for this next auction house crash on Tuesday and from there I'm gonna try to work my way through the collections but yeah guys with all that I ended up getting all the way to diamond Andre Karolinko and the reason I would not move forward from this guys is I would stay at Karolinko Karolinko is the card basically everybody wants he's OP you get to a thousand cards you get 250 tokens that is a huge dub these two are probably the most things that are gonna be worth it everything else will take some serious grinding and some serious empty because as you can see from here you go from 20 to 100 easy 100 to 250 that's only 150 and then from here goes up by 250 every time up until you get to Karolinko and then it, it takes a huge huge jump by 500 here only to earn a hundred K MT I honestly just don't think that's worth it it's gonna take a lot of MT especially because now I'm only buying expensive cards it's gonna take me quite a bit of MT and I just really don't think it's worth it now there is people out there that want that Galaxy Opal Giannis now you're gonna end up spending a ton of money and that's just not worth it to me it is worth it to some people so I'm not bashing anyone that wants to go ahead and get Giannis if you do big props to you because that's probably gonna be the most OP card in the game but if I'm doing collector levels and I'm a casual I only want to go for Karolinko at the most and then just sell back everything because then you've got a Karolinko you got tokens and then you can sell back all your jerseys and stuff for all the hundreds and thousands of empty that you spent and then you've got a ton of empty plus a free Karolinko and again 250 tokens that's enough for one pink diamond and a couple diamonds in the reward token so that again it all ends up adding up to a ton of stuff and then life gets easy because you can just sell back everything in the end but that is how I collect cards guys again you want to start from the uniforms uh, move on to the miscellaneous items keeping in mind you've already done domination and then if you really have to that's when you go to the current NBA and you don't want to buy silvers unless you land them for cheap if you end up flipping a silver just so you can buy more cards and that ends up being a W for you but you just want to be patient with the auction house the biggest thing when it comes to collecting cards is patience do not impulsively buy something just because you're like I want Karolinko today because once you try to sell all that stuff back not only are you losing MT but you just might not even have enough MT to make it to Karolinko because you're being dumb and spending MT when you don't need to be so, so yeah guys I would say for now be patient until the future promos this Tuesday or whatever time you're watching this video just be patient for a future promo and then catch your window to collect everything now obviously another way to collect stuff is by getting lucky and ripping packs not something I really uh, recommend but if you have the money and you want to go ahead and spend it they'll go ahead and get lucky you can pull an expensive card sell it and then put it all towards collecting some more cards so that's something to consider because again once you finish collecting and Karolinko and want to stop you can just sell back everything and get back all your MT obviously you'll lose 10% because of that tax in the auction house but hey it's better again than getting nothing back do not lock anything in because the only time you lock anything in is to either get a card or to get reward tokens and you don't really want to be doing that because it's very easy to get to Karolinko without doing that and that is going to be all my information on how to increase your collector levels I hope this helped you guys a ton if you found that I was explaining something a little too vaguely let me know down in the comment section below I do like to help you guys and I will always usually try to uh, reply to the comment section but uh, yeah guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the Blazion Nation I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you all have an awesome day and take care